Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anastashkina and today I wanted to share with you three different ways of using rice paper and creating this beautiful designs. Pink and silver one, unicorn or watercolor, shibori style. You can see all these different patterns. And I'm going to use the spring roll rice wrapper paper. So let's begin. To create my first design, this one, what I'm going to use is a little bit of this maroon airbrush color. You can use gel color, you can use any pink color you like. And I need water. I'm going to use this large brush. And I would probably need something like a cloth pin or a binder clip to form it. And for the silver color, I'm going to use this silver dust. So first step, what I'm going to do is use my brush and apply water to one side of my rice paper sheet. And place it upside down on a piece of parchment paper. Make sure it sticks to my parchment paper. If it's not enough moisture, just add a little bit more. So now it's moisten. I can see that I have enough moisture on my paper so I can take just a tiny drop of this pink color, add to my water and paint it on top. If you want your color to be brighter or any other color except this pink maroon color, feel free to do that. And if I see that I have a little bit more moisture than I need to, I'm going to take my paper towel and gently remove excess moisture. Like that. Now my rice paper is stuck to my parchment paper. So I'm gently applying a touch of this silver dust. And I'm going to use this brush just to, to gently press it down and create this beautiful metallic effect. Now to shape my sail, I'm going to take this parchment paper and use a binder clip to put it in this shape. So you can play around and arrange your parchment paper the way you want it to and then your rice paper will take on the same shape as your parchment paper. I will put it aside to dry. You can put it in um, uh, in your oven on the lowest setting for 10 to 15 minutes, but then leave it to dry on your table until it releases from this parchment paper. Next design, I'm going to make this watercolor sail and to do that, I'm going to take a glass of water. So I need a little bit more than a tiny bowl and I'm going to apply water on the one side of my rice paper again. Turn it upside down, make sure it sticks to my parchment paper. And then to paint this watercolor effect, I'm going to use this three color by Artisan Accents. These are gel colors, so they are water soluble. I'm making sure that I'm applying enough water. And you can see I already have a little bit of this color here. So I'm going to dip my brush, clean my brush in between applications, dip it in this color and apply here to my rice paper. And I'm making sure that I have enough water on my brush and on my rice paper so this color will bleed into each other and create this watercolor effect. Something like this. And again, I want to make it in a fan shape. So I'm going to press my parchment paper and use another clip to shape it. 
and I will leave it to dry. I want to attach this lollipop sticks to my rice paper for easier installation or application on the cake. And what I'm going to do is take this bottom part and attach to the stick like that. And for my last application, I'm going to use same blue gel color, but I will need different brushes. So I'm going to take one, this larger brush, and one angled but thinner brush. Applying water, stick it to my parchment paper, apply more water. So I'm going to use my other brush and make this lighter shade, but very, very watered down. And then while my rice paper is still wet, I'm going to draw some of the lines like tie-dye shibori style. And as you can see, because I have enough moisture, I have enough water on my rice paper, I can draw these patterns and they will bleed and create this beautiful transition and the same the opposite way and now I'm going to take a little bit more of this gel color so now I have darker and thicker gel on my brush and I'm going to apply this in some places I can create this interesting differences when one color or one situation bleeds into another. I think this technique is very interesting that you can paint almost anything you want onto your rice paper and make it versatile to any design. But maybe because this is so different, I'm going to take a bowl or some other shape or type to create almost this like half bubble thing and now when your sails are dry you can remove all these clips and release your rice paper sail from your parchment paper be very careful but if your rice paper and your parchment paper is dry you should have no problem taking this apart so now you have it you, now you know how to create this three different styles of rice paper sails this pink and um, metallic one rainbow or unicorn style and this tie-dye shibori style and next week I'm going to show you how to add these decorations to your rice paper sails so you can make them even cooler and more interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share with your cake friends. My name is Anna Stashkina and I'll see you on this channel next week, same time. Bye bye!